I, like many people of my generation, grew up watching Postman Pat. It's something I will always love. As soon as I hear that theme song, I am back to my childhood. I am safe. I am comfortable. So obviously I was going to watch the Postman Pat movie. And this was released in 2014 and I really enjoyed it. That's not to say it's perfect. There are things about it that I wasn't best pleased with. But it's, I liked it. And it's got an overall rating on an IMDb of 4.6, which I thought was pretty shocking. I really liked it. It was directed by Mike Disa, or Dysa, and written by Nicole Dubuc. And it, it has an absolutely incredible cast, really incredible, which we'll um, take a look at the moment, uh, in a moment. But first of all, basically, this is about Postman Pat, who enters a TV talent show competition. It's basically Postman Pat meets Britain's Got Talent, which, as a fan of Britain's Got Talent, is something I liked. So the narrative I thought was pretty engaging because we have a lot of different performances. We have a lot of different characters entering this contest. It makes it kind of lively. We never know what's going to happen next. Um, Simon Cowell is technically in this. He plays, well, there's a, a look-alike character called Simon Cowbell, which I thought was absolutely fantastic. Um, again, being a fan of Britain's Got Talent, that's something I enjoyed. The problem for me is the CGI. There's nothing wrong with it in terms of quality, but it's, for me, that's just not Postman Pat. Postman Pat is wholesome and innocent and old-fashioned. To modernise the appearance takes away some of that nostalgia for me. I do know a lot of the latest Postman Pat. There's like Postman Pat SDS and I think there's another one now. They do have this more modernised approach. And I get it. Other generations need their own style. Noddy's been revamped. It's, you know, it, it happens to the best of them. But for me personally, I I think it was a bit overly done. There were some CGI, some CGI where it was quite sharp and just looked really overly done and overly exposed almost. But for the most part, I could get on board with it if I put my own feelings aside and realised I'm not necessarily the target audience for this film. But the narrative unfolds nicely. Pat as a character still feels like Pat. And the visuals are fine. The voice cast. Oh, wow. Okay, so Pat. He's voiced by Stephen Mangan. Brilliant casting. Jim Broadbent. Rupert Grint. David Tennant. Which is always a win. Ronan Keating. I mean, if you put those names together in a film, it's, you know, you're doing something right. And I just thought it was great. Chris Evans is a radio announcer. That's um, not the Marvel actor. There's nothing technically wrong with this film at all. And I don't understand why it's got such a low rating. Because I thought it was fun and engaging, something children will enjoy because it is primarily a children's film it's rated U, so it's suitable for absolutely any age i don't know why it's not got the best reception it's not the best film in the world i'm not going to sit here and say that it is but i feel like it's good fun clean fun which makes a big change from a lot of films that rely on crude crass humor even in children's films they tend to kind of focus that way i liked it if you grew up with postman pat I think it's definitely something you should watch for the nostalgia because it's a, a nice way to relive something from childhood. If you're an existing fan of Postman Pat, then I don't know how it compares to the current TV series. But personally, I think it's worth a go. It's good fun, very well voice acted, nice narrative. The CGI is fine. It's a decent film. Doesn't deserve 4.6. I'd say it's easily a 5.5. I did like it.